Chicagoans are looking for even more than falling ice, trees, or power lines after the snowstorm. Light poles were also knocked down during the blizzard. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar found several of them. He's live at North and Clark. And Charlie, you spoke to some people who believe this is a bigger issue separate from the weather. Hey, Eric, and we have highlighted this issue for years here, but it was at this intersection. Nobody was hurt, but it was this light pole after this bus passes by. Of course, this light pole right here, it was tipped over for several hours this afternoon. And after we did see that snow come through overnight around the city today, there were several of those light poles tipped over similar to the one here, and it really did have the potential to cause harm. Completely toppled over, leaning across the road with a wire hanging and on the ground covered in snow ripped from its cement support. City poles were put to the test and some just didn't pass. At North and Clark, crew spent hours trying to repair this fallen traffic light. As the lights flashed red, the replacement light signal dangling from above, creating confusion and concern below. For Rachel, it was a challenge to safely get across this busy intersection. A seat out worker helped this mom and her children navigate the crosswalk. It was tricky because I was like, do I risk going under the light and then having it fall on me or do I risk stepping into traffic? I went with the traffic and no one hit me. On the inner drive between Montrose and Irving Park, what appears to be a rusted out light pole is barely hanging on. Traffic shut down. I would say just corrosion. Um, in the high winds we had yesterday. So that's your car under there right there? Not the white one right there, but I'm the second one behind it. Aaron Wold's car is underneath this dangling pole. So you think it'll be okay? Yeah, or the city will pay for it. But as our two investigators found out at the time, the city didn't pay for this woman's car to be fixed after a faulty pole fell on her hood and last year discovered more than 10,000 311 complaints of leaning or fallen poles. It could be potentially dangerous. And if you do come across a damaged or leaning pole, you are asked to call 311. You can also file a complaint through the city's website. We are live from North and Clark, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.